did we get involved? That actually started in, in 2017, the summer of 2017, when Ellen and Celeste, uh, founders of the Courthouse Look Foundation, contacted uh, our organization, Kanisha and Ashiko, if we had a dog available for them when they were speaking on a conference in Europe. Uh, it should have been uh, dog trained according to ADI standards and that's how they came to, to Kanisha and Hashiko. And um, we were triggered by what those dogs do, um, but we couldn't help them at that moment because none of us had uh, a dog available. And um, a year later, we went to uh, America to an ADI conference uh, and met them in person in Alain Celeste. And that even convinced us more of the value and, and the need for search dogs in, in Europe. Um, during that year, uh, we looked into uh, all kinds of possibilities in placing such a dog. Uh, but we, we actually ran into a wall. Um, police agencies and, and uh, um, organizations working with victims uh, were not greedy to, to uh, join us and so it didn't stop there but we, we took it a bit slower uh, and then we were invited on the housewarming party of uh, VSE uh, where we met again police. Uh, we had a talk and, and they were planning to have such a dog um, but they had already plans, plans with another organization so uh, that was it and a year later we got in touch again and um, we um, agreed, both parties agreed to uh, figure out a way to place a FIDO dog in, within the Ghent Police, the care team of the Ghent Police. And that's, that's how we got involved, uh, a simple email by Ellen and Celeste that and triggered both organizations to, to look further. And just to continue is the fact that the fact to evolve or to integrate also <laughs> that type of dogs in our centers is a rather logical one. Because first of all, we have the expertise of years of training dogs, so we know what dogs are, are capable of, we know how to approach them. We already have the whole um, organization with the volunteers worked out and figured out. So the fact that we say it also facilitate dogs for people in a victim status is also can become our scope is a rather logical one. And most of all, because it's um, rather similar to what we do for the care centers, where also the dogs placed in a home for elderly people or in a psychiatric clinic, those dogs also have the, a bit the same characteristics. They need to be calm, they need to be stressless, they need to be empathetic, empathic and, and, and those uh, criteria our expertise we can establish for the FIDO dogs now.